want to really just create a good looking website and expect um, everyone to find it and to develop all this new business and everyone goes to President's Club, sales are high. There really is a lot more to it these days. And it's about more than just creating a good looking website. Where is the value? You wonder if you, if you design the best aesthetically looking website in the world, but no one knew that it was there, or no, no one ever visited it, then the value of it, where would that be? There wouldn't be very much value. Either. So what we've been going around and talking to people for the last couple weeks and month is um, the strategy overall, not just getting people to the website, but converting people that go to the site to uh, potential clients and so forth, and really developing business and using your website as part of your sales staff, as part of your marketing team. One part of the overall strategy that we've been talking about, I'm sure that you guys are aware of the, the buzz terms, is search engine optimization and search marketing. The point about today is that we're going to be touching on one part of that overall strategy, which is the, the part of the search. Um, to dig in a little bit deeper, I want to go show you guys some statistics of what the web really means to um, users today. When you think about different forms of marketing and advertising, let's take a, a billboard on the side of the road, for example. Um, the value with having a billboard on the side of the road is you have you know, 100 or 1,000 people driving by that billboard every day. They're looking at it. There's exposure to whatever product or service that you are trying to promote. And then you look at this, the, we're calling it a new medium, but it's not a new medium, the web offering something completely different than something like a newspaper ad or a billboard ad, for example. And you look at just the, the quantity that's out there and the availability, and I want to use the word opportunity because there's just such incredible opportunity out there. But it's really hard these days with that first stat up there. There's over 2 billion websites out there that exist. How do you stand out? I mean, if there's so many people out there, I mean, we're talking about cross industries, but if there's so many people out there who have a site, how do you stand out from these people? That's really what we're going to talk about today as far as capitalizing on the fact that there are so many people out there, but realizing that it's, it's a pro and a con. Uh, it could also detract if there's, if there's just too much competition. Now, the thing that we want to talk about today and what we were mentioned is search engine marketing and search engine optimization. That's really the ability to create, you design, and develop a website that is able to be indexed by the spiders, the internet spiders, that's Google, Yahoo, and MSN, and then they rank you based on how that site is designed, how the content is on your site. And that's the crux of what search engine marketing is. There are many different methods of how you can achieve that. But overall, that's, that's the long and short of it. Um, the number one power player in this is obviously what you guys are aware of is Google. 37 billion searches conducted on Google alone in that, in that time period. Yahoo was number three, uh, excuse me, number two behind Google. They had roughly 8.5 billion searches, and, and that's from this one month here, giving you an idea, a snapshot of how many people are online searching. This is for any product, any service across the board. But overall, uh, you have users, uh, you, me, anybody across, across the globe really that's jumping online and searching 70 to 100 times per month for anything. You're looking for a diner, you're looking for a car, uh, maybe you need um, your water heater fixed at, at your house. Whatever it is that you're searching for, people are jumping online versus going into the yellow page ads and looking for ads, maybe seeing something on TV, people are starting to migrate to these search engines to look for what they're looking for. Google and Yahoo, uh, an estimated 90%, give or take, of all the searches that are done globally are done on these two search engines. So if we pull these guys out of the mix, this is really the majority of the people that are even on, on the web right now are on these two sites. But if we look at this, we're looking at the number of 61 billion searches in uh, December done. 90% um, of those people are going onto these two search engines. So if we were to build websites and optimize websites that function well on these two search engines, we're going to immediately set ourselves ahead of the curve and allow our people that we're building websites for to get the audiences that are going to these search engines. And that's the most important part. We want to connect the users with the audiences. People who are selling something need to sell it to somebody and vice versa. The iPhone has, uh, it's quite an alarming stat, it may not look like it, but they're already number four uh, overall on the market share system for operating systems. What this means is that people are going on their iPhone, they're jumping on Safari, and they're doing searches based actually on, on the web in the palm of their hand. And 0.13% may not seem like a big number of 61 billion, 
that is a pretty substantial number. There's a huge trend that's occurring right now where people are going onto the web, doing their searches, finding their information um, through a handheld device. It's completely changed the landscape of what we're doing. In order for us to really stay ahead of, to, of that landscape, we really need to grasp what people are doing. And part of that is really taking a look of how people are searching the web. We'll take Google because they are such a large share of the market and where people are searching. But we'll take a, a keyword phrase that is common to us because of the space that we're in, New Jersey web design. You have your, you have your sponsored links and you have what's called organic links. And you'll notice that there is a psychology to this. The area where sponsored links, and these are the links that you pay for, versus the links here that your website gets ranked on by the way that it's designed and written. There are many different schools of thought with this as far as where you look at first on a page. That's why the paid advertisement campaigns really do cover your bases as far as going all the way across on the right. Uh, but it does, it does leave a couple questions open as far as with the psychology of non-paid search advertising is. This is really what, what we're trying to preach when Brian and I are going around recently and, and talking about a web strategy is this is where we want to get the user. The challenge with this is balancing the paid side. There are a lot of users, excuse me, a lot of customers out there that don't have the budget for that with the organic or this section here. This is the most important part for us because when we build websites, uh, the way that we write it, the sequence of the words that are in the background and in the front ground of the, of the website, the way that the website is linked to itself and to other websites with relevant content, these are all uh, items that will have an impact, impact on where this website gets ranked. If we look at one of these organic listings here, uh, I just, um, this first listing here under New Jersey Web Design <coughs> is this website right here. I just want to take a look really briefly at the top two sites on that listing. What got them there? In blue, that is what the title tag is. That's what you see right across the top right here. So that's the first thing, that's the actual link. And that's the way that Google does it, it's not the same way that Yahoo does it, but it is very similar in that your title tag is gonna be the very first thing. So they put they put all keywords up there, which is good because it optimizes them for those terms, but it doesn't say your company name there, for example. I, mean, I would like, if I had my listing here, see how their, their name is, their website name is down at the bottom? It'd be kind of cool if I had my company name maybe across the top here, and then my tagline in here in the abstract portion. Some of the search engines read the title tag first and then read the meta tag first. So it doesn't always work out that way. It doesn't always look pretty. But functional, there's a reason why they're number one. And it is because they put their keyword terms in the, in the title tags, possibly. It could be because they stuffed the entire homepage with it. The page is extremely optimized for those terms. But the, the idea here is that what you, you got to give some thought in what you're putting in those title tags. This is all behind the scenes. Um, people would think maybe it's the technical side of things and not really something that matters to the marketing of it, but when in fact that has a, a huge impact on the way this, this site gets ranked, maintains those rankings, and then obviously how it drives traffic to it. Without taking a very in-depth look at these guys, I would say that they're linking this very well too because they are number one. But if we go back, let's take a look at, that was graphicssigns.com. Let's look at number two, which actually has New Jersey in the title name there. Same deal here. They've taken a slightly different approach. Uh, the other one had commas in between their title tags. This one is a little bit different. They also put their, their company name at the end, too. They're optimizing for the company name. It's not a, a bad thing to put your name in there. It would be nice to see at the first, uh, first part of it, I think, visually. But now they are also optimized for their term, for their name. So people are searching for JSE Corporation. And the computers and they will, they will also show for that. But if we take a look at their site, it's pretty much the same thing. You'll notice that we, we also have the title tags up on top. If you look at the body of the page, New Jersey, web design. Web, web design in that sequence is mentioned about half a dozen times in that one paragraph, dozens of times throughout the entire page. The one thing that we preach the most and we say over and over and over is content is king. The way that you get up and listed on these websites to the top is by having dynamic content. I can't say that enough. That's what we, we've been preaching, is having dynamic, updated, and optimized content. And that's how these guys got there. And that's how WSITS and the other websites will get up there as well.